Hi, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to host a website in IS server on Windows Server 2016 or 2019. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open my Windows Server. Yeah, so here I open my web browser and access to any free HTML website to download the templates first. Okay. So in this video, it did a creating a new website. I will download a template from the internet. Okay. So here, the website I'm using is freecss.com website. Yeah. So here, you select a template you want to be download and get it to the PC. Okay. So I will select the uh, this one, Flamic. Okay. This one is total, totally free, and we have download button here. Also have some live demo. You click on this one if you want to take a look into it first before you download it to the local PC. Okay, it looks so nice. I will close this one and click on download button here to get a file from the internet. Save file. So the download folder. Okay, I will unzip this one. Yeah. Okay. So now here, you need you need to make sure you already install the Internet Information Services on the Windows PC. I mean the Windows Server. So if you don't know how to install the Internet Information Services on the Windows Server, you can take a look. Take a look into another video created by myself in this series of the uh, training how to use the Windows Server. I will also put the link is in the description of this video, so it will be easier for you to to, to find. Okay, so now here click on this folder. Yeah, it have five HTML file here. Click on index button. Uh, sorry, index file. Yeah. So now here, instead of opening a file from the physical file here, we can create it. Or we can create. We can create a new IIS server to hosting this one. Okay. So now I will open the Internet Information Services. INET, MRG, MGR. Okay. Sorry. Or you can open the start and find the internet information services or you can type in here or you can find it in the administrative tune yeah okay by default after you install the internet information services on the windows server it only have a uh, one side is the default website Okay, so now I will temporarily disable this one. I will create new site, new website. Yeah. So here I have to specify the, the file name, the physical path, and the hot name. Okay. In in order to in order to put the physical path here, I have to create a new folder in the web root. I will back to this HTML file, I copy this one. Okay. And now I open the C drive. And we have INET pub folder. This is a default folder after you install the Internet Information Services on the server. Okay, open this one. And we have a folder in www root. And I will create I will paste this one here. Okay. I will change the name of this folder. I will name it my site. Okay. I copy this path. Okay. Back to the Internet Information, information Services. The physical path here. I will copy this one, paste here. And the site name, I will enter it in my site.local. Okay. 
So hot name, I will paste the same sign name, Kun. And here, the application pool will be automatically created by on the sign name here. Okay. Or you you you, you even select another application pool here by clicking on the select button. And in the application pool drop down, you select the the pool you want to be assigned to this sign name. But basically, you should leave it by default. We should create new application pool for the new sign for easier to easier to manage the the pool for the new website. Okay, I will close click on OK button here. Cool. So now here, if I try to click on this button, this hyperlink, sorry, to open the the the, the this one website on the browser. It's loading. Yeah. This is not found. Okay. In here, I will open the hot name. In the C drive, I open the program file. No, no. The window. Scroll down, you go to system 3.2. Okay. And you select the driver folder. ETC folder. Yeah. So here we have a hot file. And you right click on this one and open with. I will select the notepad. You can also install another uh, editing tool on this PC and open it with, uh, with with that tool to edit the content of this hot file. Okay, here, so I will copy this IP address. E local hot. Put it here. And I have a uh, my site dot local. My site dot local. Cool. Save it and close this. Okay, I back to the server and try to refresh this one. No, it still not work. Okay, I will restart. Click on this one. Yeah. Okay, so now here you can see. Instead of opening the index file of the uh, template, we are able to access to the the folder of website via the address my site local. Okay, very good. So now here it looks like you are accessing it over a website. It is opening a physical site, a physical file. Okay, I will open another page. Yeah, services. Below. Okay. Wow, this can be very nice. Contact. And it does send a message. Okay. Okay, so here this is server. If you want to access this one from the internet, I mean from the LAN server. So how to do it? Let me try to access it in my PC first. Okay, I will type in uh, my local my side of local. Yeah, cannot work. So now here I will open my hosting file in the window. System 3.2. Drive. I will add it to the hot file. Hot. I will open with. 
notepad okay so now here instead of entering the this IP address because it is local hot so I will back to the server and I will get the server IP okay so the server IP here you can get this one or you can open the window run and CMD and you type in IP config yeah this is IP address of the server copy this and back to the server back to the my my PC okay okay save it up hmm it seems I cannot save it I will save it okay I copy it don't save edit here edit here okay see it open with notepad okay we have a new row has been added to this one close this and back to the website and trying to refresh this one okay so now here we are able to access the site the HTML from the server on my local PC yeah so we have to uh, add the hot the, 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 the website name to the my hot file on my local PC in order to access it via the site name okay let me try to access it via the IP address uh, not found okay use this one it will be good service block Singapore contact and okay so here I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to um, how to create a new website in IS server to hot to hot the, 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 the HTML site on the server and after that we expose it to the LAN network connection in the in the how the company is or something like that so anyone in the LAN network able to access the website from the uh, on the server okay so i think that's all and if you have any issue let me know i will try to answer you as soon as possible okay thank you for watching bye bye and see you later